Hey, what's going on guys, Hexer, and today we're taking a look at the DC Collectibles Batman the Animated Series Ventriloquist and Scarface. I'll give you guys a little 360 of them so you can kind of see them. Uh, do you have a, just really one negative complaint on this, uh, but uh, overall, you know, nice design, looks like it did just in the cartoon. Um, you know, from the uh, Ventriloquist, you know, to Scarface, everything looks really good. Uh, I like the uh, the way that they did with the, you know, the hand you can put it in there. And this is actually, you know, becomes one of the hands. It's got the thing. The only problem is uh, it's a really tight fit to get this arm into the his back. Uh, the, you actually have to use, like, two things kind of, uh, you know, applying the rubber apart from each other so that you can shove the, the hand down in there. Otherwise, uh, if you don't do that then uh, you're not going to, it's not, the peg's not long enough uh, to actually fit inside his wrist. Uh, so that's the only problem that I had. So it took me a while to get that in there and just kind of shoving down on it and, uh, you know, applying these two little rubbery things aside. So uh, that's just one little issue I had. Uh, I wish that uh, Scarface here, because I want him to hold the Tommy gun. Now he, the Ventriloquist, he actually comes with hands that uh, will grab uh, the Tommy gun. But from the episodes that I can remember, uh, it was actually uh, the Scarface guy that had a Tommy gun all the time. And uh, he was kind of a more passive person to where uh, he just kind of, this guy's the boss. Scarface is the boss and he just kind of does what Scarface says. Actually, Scarface tries to kill uh, the ventriloquist in one of the episodes, which is, um, you know, kind of strange, you know, and kind of dark uh, for, you know, a, a cartoon. Uh, but I wish they would have made the fist uh, a little bit better so he could hold the gun because the way it's designed, um, you, you have to have it kind of out to the side. So uh, instead of like just straight hanging from him. So uh, those are really the only two things that I want to kind of nitpick on. Other than that, I mean, it's a pretty nice looking figure. Uh, it, the weight distribution, uh, it's a lot heavier on this side. So I kind of had to, you know, bend it back and kind of put this leg to where, you know, it's out there a little bit where he's kind of standing straight up on this one and this one's kind of out to the side bending back uh to kind of like counteract that uh weight of having the uh the dummy or scarface actually that he scarface calls him the dummy so it's a really funny episodes that uh this character is in uh but as far as the details let's go ahead and take a closer look at that uh, you can see the uh, scarface character uh, he does have articulation i'm trying to get this without uh getting them off the hand because uh, like again like i mentioned it was hard to get them on there uh so this goes up and down you can actually move you can see the oh god man so the, okay so that's what i'm talking about uh but you can move the uh on the wrist where he can go back and forth on there uh the arms they will go you know up and down they'll rotate here at the wrist the the legs are a little bit loose they just kind of hang but he is a i guess that makes sense since he's little puppet so he's not supposed to be like standing or anything so you don't need him to do that but uh there's just like a little look at him and uh you know looks pretty good uh as far as the uh ventriloquist we'll just give him a, a different hand for right now uh his face sculpt looks good you know the the glasses and everything look good uh he's got beady eyes uh behind the glasses if you can see that but uh they look nice the hair's very nicely done uh you know all this looks good uh the head's on a ball joint so moves back and forth and it actually came in the package where the head was popped off for some reason so i had to just kind of get it on there again so uh, i don't know if um they're all like that or it's just mine but it's not really that big of an issue uh the arms back and forth they go in and out you can see that they bend here at the elbow and also rotate the wrist. They go left to right. They also rotate as well. He does have some waist articulation just because of the way that it's designed here. Obviously, it's wider here at the hips than it is here. Uh, you can go in and out, back and forth with the legs. You can bend at the knee, and the feet do rotate down here. So it's kind of a, uh, you know, the normal amount of articulation that uh, you get with these guys but uh, let's try to put so I, I can show you kind of what I meant this uh, scar face back on here so here's what I did um, I got 
this out of the way and started to kind of just get his wrist in there and then move this one out of the way and then just try to shove it in there but again you know that pegs really small I don't know why it's that small it's it's hard to get in there so uh, but you kind of get the picture it, it'll take you a while to get on there or at least it did with mine uh, and the uh, instructions it shows the like the peg to be like this long which is not the case but Anyways, I uh, thought I'd share this with you guys, so catching up a little bit on my Batman the Animated Series and the new Batman Adventure figures from DC Collectibles, so I'll start rolling some of those out because I have a ton of more stuff coming in, uh, which is some more DC stuff and some more Transformers and uh, whatnot. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.